Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to episode 3 of 12 in my 12 week countdown to Christmas series for 2023. So these are the two cards we're making. We're using the Joy to You stamp set for the Long Slim card and the Joy of Noel stamp set for the Square card. In fact, we're also going to be using the dies uh, from the Joy of Noel dies. So I'm using this one. And you need a matte layer in Cherry Cobbler, an eighth of an inch larger than the designer series paper. So this is three and one eighth by three and one eighth. And in metric, that will be eight by eight centimeters. You also need a mossy meadow matte layer and I've cut that from the stylish shape size and this is the next to largest die. You also need a basic white layer for inside the card and that measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters which is 9.5 by 9.5 centimeters. The other die I'm using for the slim card is the contour scallop dies. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite sets actually. I use it quite a lot. So that's this size one, which is the one, two, three, the third one in. So in the Christmas Pinecone die set, you have two large dies. One is the background and this is the highlight. So we're using the highlight one which has more apertures and you can cut that in a darker um, cardstock and place that on top. But we're not using that one. And it's the same with these fur cones. There are two solid ones and two highlight ones and one big background and one highlight large fur cone. The inks we're using are Cherry Cobbler and Mossy Meadow for the Long Slim card and in addition to that for the square card we need Versamark and white embossing powder from the Basics embossing powder pack and also the embossing additions toolkit for the square card in order to emboss and heat set the Noel for the square card. We'll also need the pearlized enamel effects basics and we're going to be using the red one. Today I'm going to show you how you can get two cards of different sizes. So one is a long slim card and the other is a square card. In Europe the A4 sheet measures eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters. So you want to put it on the long side on your trimmer and then align it at the three and a half inch mark and use the scoring blade to score across. Okay? Then scoot that over to seven and make a cut. So there's your long slim card. Now you've got this piece that's left over. So trim it to four and one eighth. And you just have this left over. And score that at four and one eighth. So there's your long slim card, it just about fits into the camera. There's your long one and there's your square one. I'm using two of the online exclusives. This one is the silver and gold 12 by 12 adhesive back glimmer paper. This is the paper and there's one sheet in silver and one sheet of 12 by 12 in gold. I'm also using the Shining Christmas 12 by 12 or 30.5 by 30.5 centimeter specialty designer series pack. It's shiny on one side, just Christmas trees, and that's the reverse. Next we have the presents, and that's the 
reverse. It's all in traditional Christmas colours, so it's a red, green and white. It's a harlequin design. And the holly leaf and the candy cane. The piece of paper we're going to be using is this holly leaf one. I've sized it so that you can get at least four slim cards out of it and four square cards. So if you cut them into three inch by 12 inch strips, turn it on its side and align it at seven and three quarters and that will give you the matte layer for your long slim card and then cut the next slot at three inches as well and that will give you the matte layer for your square card. Don't discard this because we're going to cut up the holly leaf to put on the card here to decorate the card. Long slim card also has an inside layer and this measures three and a quarter inches by eight inches. Also need a scrap of basic white to stamp and die cut the contour die for the front of the card like so. And for the embellishment I've cut this from the silver and gold adhesive back blimmer paper with the Christmas pine cone dies. The advantage of having the adhesive back glitter paper is that you can just take out all the bits and it's ready to go. Uh, you don't have to worry about applying adhesive on the back. These cards have been designed so that they're quick and easy to assemble. Not too many layers because you have to keep an eye on postage. But it still gives you that wow factor. So carefully remove the backing paper from the die cut. You put it in the middle. Now it will jut out. So what you do is you get the embossing buddy and just tap it on the bits that are sticking out and that stops it from being sticky. I'm going to stamp the sentiment on a basic white cardstock and I'll die cut that off camera. Pop dimensionals on the back and then I can put that onto the card front. Remove the backing tape. and pop that on the front of the card. Remember the leftover? We'll cut up four holly leaves from here and they're fairly easy to cut. Just angle your scissors at a 45 inch angle and move the paper, not the scissors. Pop the holly leaves on the back of the glue dots and just pop them on here. Next thing we do is to do the inside because when you put the pearlized berries you want to leave a plenty of time for it to dry otherwise it will smudge. I'm going to stamp the holly leaves first. Swap ink pads to cherry cobbler and there are two dots in the stamp, so I'm just going to stamp it across the two leaves like so. And then for the other berries, I'll just stamp it to the side like so. Okay, glue that to the inside of the card. Now that we've done the inside, we can do the berries on the outside. So have them quite far apart. 
<clears throat> so that uh, they don't touch each other otherwise you'll find that they'll um, while it's drying it will all merge and become just one big blob so you want to keep them apart set it aside to dry um, allow at least half an hour longer if necessary the longer the better now we're going to tackle doing the square card. So first thing to do is use the cherry cobbler mat layer and the dust buddy. So tap that onto your cardstock. Um, and then use Versamark ink to stamp your Noel words still got my Stamparatus, although it's no longer in the Stamping Up product line. There's no reason why you can't still use it if you do have a Stamparatus. And for those who don't, you can still stamp it the normal way. Bring in the white embossing powder and sprinkle that over the top. Tap off the excess. Bring in the heat tool and heat set it. When you heat setting the embossing powder, as soon as it puffs up like that, then move the heat tool to the next section. Don't overheat it because if it does, it will go dull. Die cut the letters out and to make your sandwich you need platform one, the thin die adapter platform two, one of the platform threes as a base plate, your cardstock with a die cutting edge face down, secure the die over the letters so that there are no gaps, put tape over it so that it doesn't move and then place your top cutting plate the second platform three on top and then you're ready to run it through the machine now i can glue these letters to the second to largest stylish shapes die matte layer i've applied the multi-purpose glue onto the back of the letters now i'm going to let that dry so that the letters will be repositionable. Now that I've die cut the letters I shall glue this to the card base for the square card leaving an even border all round. Next glue on the pretty paper and stamp the leaf in Mossy Meadow. Swap ink pads to Cherry Cobbler and stamp the cherries on first. So glue that to the inside of the card, leaving an even border all round. Now that the letters are dry, I can stick it onto the card like so. Fortunately I didn't have to reposition it but still it's better to be on the safe side isn't it. And put dimensionals on the four corners and then pop it on the card front. So voila, how quick was that? You could add some more embellishments, but that will make the card even thicker. And I want to keep the postage to a minimum. So voila, there you have long and slim card and a square card made out of just one A4 sheet. So I hope you've enjoyed episode three and I'll be back with more inspiration um, next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.